Good morning, I'm Sangeeta Kandola. Talks over securing a new Brexit deal for Northern Ireland are set to continue this weekend, despite a visit by the European Commission president being called off. Ursula von der Leyen was due to meet the Prime Minister and possibly even the King. Meanwhile, Downing Street say there are signs an agreement is close. Pablo Taylor reports. It's the deal Rishi Sunak is in touching distance of securing. After months of intense negotiation and two years of stalemate with the EU, an agreement on post-Brexit rules for Northern Ireland is now rumoured to be just days away. The current deal, known as the Northern Ireland Protocol, sees goods from Britain destined to cross the Irish border checked at ports on arrival in Northern Ireland. The new deal is thought to involve a check-free green lane for goods staying in Northern Ireland and a red lane in which goods en route to the Republic of Ireland are checked. The new arrangement is thought to have been named the Windsor Agreement and would include a moment in front of the cameras between Rishi Sunak and the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. She was due to visit the UK this weekend but has been forced to call off her trip. It's hoped any new deal could also pave the way for the re-establishment of an assembly in Stormont. Power sharing there has been suspended ever since the DUP's first minister resigned over the protocol a year ago. Rishi Sunak has indicated that MPs will get the chance to vote on any new deal. Labour has indicated it would vote for it. But it's a move that risks a showdown with some on the Tory benches, including the former Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Pablo Taylor, ITV News. Peace campaigners are set to hold rallies today in Omar in Northern Ireland following the shooting of a senior police officer. Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell remains critically ill in hospital and is heavily sedated. He was shot multiple times at a sports complex on Wednesday. A fifth person was arrested yesterday evening. Police are treating the incident as terrorist-related. UK health experts are sharing details of their COVID-style contingency plans around bird flu in the unlikely event of the disease spreading. The World Health Organization is calling for heightened vigilance after an 11-year-old girl died from the disease in Cambodia. But the UK Health Security Agency say there is no evidence the virus is an imminent threat. A small earthquake has been recorded in South Wales. The quake, measuring 3.8 magnitude, happened just before midnight, about eight miles north of the Rhondda Valley. And finally, around 3,000 tickets for the Eurovision Song Contest are being set aside for displaced Ukrainians living in Britain. The UK is hosting the event in May on behalf of Ukraine, who won last year. Barbara Holmes reports. Ukraine! When Ukraine claimed victory at Eurovision last year, the country was only a few weeks into the war that had totally upended life there. Ukraine's commentator had to broadcast from a bomb shelter. And the winning group, Kalush Orchestra, needed special permission to leave the country. Today, the UK government announced £10 million in funding to make sure this year's extravaganza truly showcases Ukrainian culture. The theme is united by music, and the money is to support the city in putting that in practice. It's to fund everything from partnerships with Ukrainian artists and performers to community programmes in the city. As well as that, 3,000 highly coveted tickets to the live shows have been earmarked for Ukrainians who fled the war and came to the UK. After a year spent under the shadow of a brutal conflict, music promises a moment of light relief. By Holmes, ITV News. And that is all for now. I'm back with the lunchtime news at a quarter past one. Until then, do enjoy the rest of your morning. Bye-bye.